हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय नेम इज आलोक सेमवाल एंड टुडेज लेक्चर इज अबाउट इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन एंड अप्लीकेशन ऑफ जेल क्रोमेटोग्राफी और जेल परमिएशन क्रोमेटोग्राफी सो मेन कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ इंस्ट्रूमेंट ऑफ जेल परमिएशन क्रोमेटोग्राफी इंक्लूड स्टेशनरी फेस द मोबाइल फेस कॉलम्स द पंप एंड डिटेक्टर्स सो फर्स्ट मेजर कंपोनेंट ऑफ द इंस्ट्रूमेंट इज स्टेशनरी फेज स्टेशनरी फेज यूज इन जेल परमिएशन क्रोमेटोग्राफी इज कंपोज ऑफ सेमी परमिएबल पोरस पॉलीमर जेल बेड्स विद ए वेल डिफाइंड रेंज ऑफ पोर साइजेस अ स्टेशनरी फेज शुड हैव फॉलोइंग प्रॉपर्टीज इट शुड बी केमिकली इनर्ट मैकेनिकली स्टेबल एंड शुड हैव ideal and homogeneous porous structure a uniform particle and pore size is also a necessity examples of gel used as stationary phase includes dextrin gel agarose gel and acrylamide gel second component is the mobile phase Mobile phase used in gel permeation chromatography is composed of a liquid used to dissolve the biomolecules to make the mobile phase permitting high detection response and wet the packing surface. Examples of different types of solvents used as mobile phase are toluin, THF which is tetrahydrofuran, trichlorobenzene, dimethylformamide and water or buffers next component of the instrument includes columns various types of columns are used in gel permeation chromatography these include analytical columns preparative columns and narrow bore columns dimensions of the columns are for analytical column 7.5 to 8 mm for preparative columns 22 to 25 mm and narrow bore columns 2 to 3 mm diameter next component of the instrument include pumps pumps are used to deliver flow of solvent through the column they are either syringe pumps or reciprocating pumps with a high constant flow rate Last and most important component of the instrument include detectors. Detectors are used to detect the separated components. Detectors used in gel chromatography are concentration sensitive detectors, bulk property detectors and refractive index detectors. Next is steps in gel permeation chromatography three major steps are used in gel permeation chromatography first is preparation of column for gel filtration second is loading of the sample onto the column using a syringe third eluting the sample and detection of components now we will discuss the first step preparation of column for gel filtration This step involves swelling of the gel in the solvent which is to be used as eluent. Next is packing of the column with semi-permeable porous polymer gel beds with a well-defined range of pore sizes. And finally, washing is done. In this after packing, several column volumes of buffer solution is passed through the column to remove any air bubbles and to test the column homogeneity after preparation of the column the next step followed is loading of the sample onto the column using a syringe finally sample is eluted by the solvent 
and separated components are detected through the detectors. Applications of Gel Permeation Chromatography Gel permeation chromatography is used for the fractionation of proteins. Protein fractionation is a process of series of processes intended to isolate a single or multiple type of protein from a complex mixture of proteins. It is also used for the purification of components, determination of molecular weight, separation of sugar, proteins, peptides, rubbers and others on the basis of their size. Permeation chromatography can also be used for the determination of quaternary structure of purified proteins. Thank you.